in ages long forgotten. Light fought darkness for control of the world. Dark Dragon led the evil hordes of darkness. The ancients fought back with the powers of light. Dark Dragon was defeated and cast into another dimension. The Lord of Darkness vowed to return in a thousand years. Time passed, and Dark Dragon was forgotten by all. Ten centuries of peace ruled the land of Rune. Until the kingdom of Runefaust brought war and fear to Rune. Hordes of evil creatures ravaged every land. Here and there, strongholds of good still held out. Awaiting a hero who could wield the powers of light. Welcome everybody to Let's Play Shining Fours. Balmazak here, and I've been waiting on this for a long time. Aww, cute girl. Anyway, she's pretty much going to be saying exactly what we just learned in the cutscene. So anyway, yeah, this is my one year anniversary LP. I've actually been trying to do this since the beginning of the year and things just have not worked out. Um, but I'm, I'm finally happy to be able to start this LP. Um, it's been a long time coming. Uh, Shining Force is my, by far one of my favorite games of all time. I have played this game over and over and over again. By the way, if you want to skip to this part of the um, intro, you can always press C just as she starts talking and it will just skip. By the way, I pressed the wrong button. You have, it's very button specific. You have to right, press the right one. So anyway, um, let's pick our start adventure. Um, I'm go just going to go by my uh, screen name, Bulbazak. So we're going to enter this in. But yeah, um, I played this game a lot. I played it so many times, in fact, that... Um, I am. I actually, when I play at a new time, I actually challenge myself. I'm starting to challenge myself and, you know, set roadblocks my way so that I have to experience the game differently. Um, I just really enjoy this game. So, Chapter 1, Rune Faust, Inva Rune Faust Invasion. So, yep, we're starting this game up and we're getting beat up already. Well, that's starting this on a good foot. So anyway, um... That's good. Training. Always nice. Um, if I seem a little bit jerky, uh, let's just say the GameCube's not the best little controller to play a game like this. The D-pad is very, very small, so sometimes it's very jerky controlling. Um, why am I not using the joystick? Because I want to use the D-pad. That said, I know what I'm doing most of the time. Sometimes I might pause because... I'm debating whether to talk to a specific villager or not, and I just go on, we go on ahead. But anyway, they're going to go, go, there's an emergency at the castle, so let's finish talking to Low here, and then we can actually uh, continue on with the game. So now we can actually move a little bit, check this out, left, right, left, right, and we have four options. We can talk, we have item, we can search, or we can use magic. Item, there are four options that are under item you can use, equip, drop, or give. Um, so let's go search something. Um, how about this bookcase? Let's search this bookcase. Ooh, Path to Master Swordsmanship, Warrior Techniques, many more books. Um, uh, every bookcase has different books in it. It's sometimes really interesting to read all the books in the area. I'm not going to really be doing that. So, okay, um, this priest has something different to say. Um, have I been having any nightmares? Uh, no. So, oh, he's going to tell us about nightmares. This is going to be a recurring theme in this section right now. Um, anyway, how am I going to do this LP? It's all going to be post-commentary. Yes, I have already played this. I am looking back now and talking about what I've done. 
So I'll probably t I'll probably stop every once in a while and address what I'm actually doing, like right about now. Let's talk to this lady. Hello, lady. Aw, oh, something's wrong with her. Um, okay, I can't walk that way. I can only walk this way. The man's blocking it. So the daughter's having nightmares. So I want to speak to the daughter. Move. Well, let me just say this man's going to take a while to move, and I can't go anywhere until he does, so... I'm just kind of confused. I don't know what to do, so I'm kind of waiting for him to move. So while I do that, uh, like I said, this LP is going to be post-commentary. Oh, hi there. Um, I'm going to be kind of dividing it uh, into two types. First of all, we're going to have the town slash story segments. This is, I'm going to be wandering in the town, doing stuff in between battles. Uh, this will be the, the time I'll be most likely to have... Um, oh, okay. I have an opening. Let's talk to the girl. Oh, she had an awful dream. The town was burned down. Oh. Anyway, cart. Haha. -ha. How are you doing? Probably not very much. I wouldn't like it very much. But hey, there's a dog. Let's talk to the dog. Why? Because I'm the dog whisperer. That's why. So here's a lady. Something about her grandpa. Yep. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Uh, more grandpa stuff. Ooh, best warrior. I want to go meet this guy. Uh, so I'll be one around town. Anyway, um, town segments will be mo the most likely time I'll have post-commentary, because I'll just be goofing around like you can see now. Mainly, why am I talking to a bunch of NBCs? Uh, to fill the time, that way you don't have like five-minute videos most of the time. So I kind of want a, a regular, a, a semi-understandable length of video. Ooh, hotel. Not a guest in two weeks. Hey, I want to stay. Oh, not fun. So let's go here. Oh, what? They won't let me out. So no one's going to leave town. Well, that sucks. Let's just go this way. Hello? No, I don't want to speak to you. Let's speak to the bartender. Ah, oh, he... I can't catch him. Okay, Mr. Bartender. Okay. He doesn't want us to pay the old man any heed. So I'm going to talk to him. Yay! Do I want to hear your story? Yes, I do. Ooh, yes. Secret's good. Secret. Okay, don't trust anybody. Oh, sweet, a warrior. I like warriors. Warriors are fun. Anyway, um, that's going to be important later. We can't talk to him now. Well, we can't talk to him, but, you know, that's important later. I'll get back to it. So, anyway, let's just go to Castle. Well, it's really... I have to tell you this. Uh, this is actually um, part two of my post-commentary thing. Because uh, what happened is my video started doing weird things and it kept on recording and I couldn't see what was happening. So I scrapped some of that and just continued where I left off. But um, anyway, getting back, like I said, uh, with the town segments, this is the part where I'm more likely going to have uh, guest commentators. Because I'm just goofing around, having a good time, interacting with the townsfolk, and probably every once in a while explaining a little bit of what's going on. So, let's talk to this guy. Um, ooh, there's treasure. I want to get treasure. Move out of the way. Moving? Nope. So, nope. Okay, I'm going to be all sneaky, like solid snake. Sneak around him. You can't see me. Da, 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 da. Okay, so let's talk to this guy. Seems clueless. Still clueless. Maybe I can get by him. Nope. Oh, I can't get treasure. But hey, I'm all stealthy and stuff. Anyway, like I said, that, the town segments are the first post-commentary segments. The second post-commentary segments or are the uh, battle segments. Um, I'm going to be mainly dealing with battle commentary. Stra uh, tactics, what's going on right now, why I made a certain decision. I'm not ruling out having... Uh, having any co-commentators, but more than likely I'm going to be doing it by myself. Uh, if any videos are going to be really, really long, just to warn you, they are probably going to be the battle segments. Reason being is I'm going to be discussing pretty much what's going on in the battle. Um, so I figure if you're watching this, in the watching these videos in the first place, well, I'll probably throw in a joke or two every once in a while. Um, you're, this, this is going to be more for strategy and more for uh, actual gameplay and focusing on actual gameplay than anything else. So let's talk to this man real quick. Ooh, a lovely view. 
Really? Can I see? Can I see? Ah, oh, you jerk. Well, let's just look the other way. Come on. Yay! I get to see through the telescope. It is indeed a lovely view. Okay, bored now. Talk to the man. So anyway... So, there's, he's been seeing stuff moving near the Gate of the Ancients. We've been hearing a lot about that lately. But yeah, that's how I'm handling post-commentary. Um, this is going to be a 100% playthrough of the game. What is 100%? I'm going to be getting all 30 characters in the game. But since there are a couple of um, Let's Plays of this on YouTube, I'll explain what I'm going to do here after I talk to the king. So, here's a little bit of what's going on. So, they're talking about sending me somewhere, so I'm just going to look into it. So, let's talk to the king and find out what's going on. Just inch there and talk to me. Okay. So, we've been watching the Gate of the Ancients. We've been hearing a lot about this lately. So, beyond the gate lies... We know not what, whether it's the light or the darkness. Probably if there's a gate guarding something, it's not good. So anyway, um, there's stuff there, and our mission is to seek out new... No, our mission is to basically go and stop it. At all costs. So, we're going to be getting a small group of warriors, a little party, we'll say, and we're going to be moving on, so... Anyway, I'm going to take the task. So, but before I do that, I'm just going to talk around here. I consider talking to that guy, but I want to decide I need wanted to go over here first. So anyway, she's mad. I want to know why she's mad. She does not like Teo. She's ama if Teo's amazing, then she's a footstool. Well, knowing who Teo is, I'm going to guarantee that you're a footstool. So anyway, uh, Manorino, we're going to be getting to that later on in the play. That's going to be a fun video. But anyway, um, like I said, not only am I going to be getting all 30 characters, I am going, because, like I said, I think that's a given in a, an LP such as this. But to make my, let's play, this, my playthrough of this a little bit more distinct, I am also going to be getting all of the secret items in the game. There are about six of them. Seven, um, and I am going to be getting all of them. Um, now, I'm not sure if they all do stuff. I'm, mostly they're useless and they, they don't have much use. Uh, but I do need help to know if they all do stuff. So if, you, if anybody knows anything, let me know. Um, I know what, the bathing, what the, the, the bathing suit and the bikini do. Those will be the first two I'm going to be getting. And I have an idea what the, the tepu, the rifle, does. So anyway, we're getting our first um, party members here right now. So here's our first group right here. We have Luke, Ken, Teo, and Han. So we're actually already set to go. We really didn't have to do much searching. So anyway. Oh, hey, look. It's Lo. Hey, what do you want, Lo? Oh, he wants to join us too. So anyway, we have our little group. So, now that we have uh, all the members of the Shining Force, it is time to return to the King, according to uh, Nova. But before we do that, um, I'm actually going to show something off, and it's going to be probably the only time in the entire project I'm going to do so. I'm going to get it out of the way right now. So, let's head back to the castle. And earlier, I actually talked to a guard, and he would not let us through. That is because we are going to our headquarters. There's one in every town, and this is ours. At every headquarters, it looks exactly like this. You can talk to Nova, and when you talk to Nova, you have four options as usual. You have advice, you have item, which does the same as always, you have status, and you have join. Join we're not going to get to right yet. But if you go to status, you can actually view the status of all your party members. This is actually more detailed status, which I'm not showing off. But yeah, you can actually see their status. Um, also, if you talk to advice, Nova will give you a word, a word of advice about uh, your, uh, the next battle coming up. Um, he was giving us a message to basically we should talk to the hermit that's around the game, the ancients, which we will be getting to at the end of this video. So don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Anyway, this little place right here is where you will look at all, you can look at your current party. Right now, why am I talking to my party? Because number one, I want to kind of link this, get a respectful link to this video. And number two, I'm never going to be doing this again, so I might as well. Now, I would talk to Lowe, but I'm going to leave him to leave him till last because Lowe is a blabbermouth. 
So, after talking to Hans, let's talk to Lo. He's the only member of the Force that has two boxes of dialogue. So anyway, um, I'm just going to show off the uh, headquarters a little bit. There's a bar. When you get more than your uh, party a lot, more than your 12 party members, they will be scattered throughout this headquarters. But this is generally how every single headquarters look. Looks. There's a, a few old, uh, di- few variations, but this is a majority of mainly what it looks like. So now let's talk to the king, like we, Nova told us to. And he's going to tell us to go purchase some supplies. So we have 100 coins to do that. So, anyway. About the... But getting back to the items. Like I said, I know what a majority of the items do. Uh, which is, I know what the Katui Huku does. The Sugui Mizugi and the Tepu. Um, like, I don't know if I've said this or not, but I suck at saying Japanese names. Uh, we can't talk to this guy yet because he doesn't like to talk to customers. However, this guy would, uh, will. So we can actually get in, and here are the shop uh, options. We have buy, deals, repair, and sell. Repair is not going to do as much deal and good, and deals, there's not much right we can do right now. We Right now we have medical herb, a healing seed, and an angel feather. Um, angel feather will allow you to basically leave a battle, and the other two are healing items. Right now we're going to get medical herbs for every member of the force. I tend to do this. I tend to get healing items for all of the members of the force, for the force, because it's great to have, number one. And number two, if I don't have any healers nearby, or I have used all of my magic, I have some healing items. It's For me, it's a great personal tactic I prefer to use. But I'm going to be going at this a little bit. Uh, and I pretty much told you about the items. I kind of know what they do. The rest, I have no clue. So guys, if you know what any any of the rest of these items actually do, send me a private message. Tell me uh, what it does. Like, for example, who needs to hold it, etc., etc., etc. I will test it off screen. If it works, I will not only show it off in game, I will actually um, send, give you a little shout out in the video itself. So... That's about the that's about the secret items. So we are actually getting a ride to the Gate of the Ancients. Story time. So here we are at the Gate of the Ange- Ancients, and something about Rune Faust must be Faust must be up to something. So anyway, they're searching for stuff, and they're looking for the key for a key. I have no idea what they're what they want with a key or what exactly the key is, but uh, an earthquake. So honestly. Knowing anything mystical, you mess with, qu- mess with crap, stuff like earthquakes happen. So, anyway, you guys are going to get a little bit of preview for the first battle. Uh, I'm not going to be getting into the first battle right now because there's stuff I have to do. So, moving, moving right on. I am going to ask, though. Yes, I am leaving the battle. I'm going to ask the one item I don't know, don't know what, what has anything to do with it. Um, which I'll get to right real, right, real quick, because right now we're going to speak to Jokert, who's just going to give us a crazy little message. Uh, he has been waiting for us. I have no clue what that means. But why we're really here is we're actually going to pick up our first character, that's an optional character, and that'll be Gong. He's another healer. But anyway, getting back to the to another hidden, island, hidden item, there is a seventh hidden, hidden item in the game. However... When I've checked with everybody, no one knows where... They know what it is, they know what it does, but no one knows where it, it, where exactly it's hidden. It's the Kindan no Hako, the Forbidden Box. If anybody knows where that is, let me know. Anyway, uh, last little thing. This guy is a, pro, a friar, a priest. So here are the priest options. You have Save, you have Cure, you have Promote, and you have Raise. Uh, right now, we are going to Save. So, anyway, guys... If you know what the where like for example the hidden boxes forbidden boxes or what some of these items do, once again, send me a private message. I'll give you a shout out if it if the information is accurate. But it's time to exit. So next time, battle number one. See you later, guys.